What's up, guys? So today I'm with my buddy Jesse. He is the guy who uh, used to work with me at d &E Reptiles. I used to put him through the ringer, make him do everything while I hovered above him. It was so enjoyable. But he was the guy that was there during the Pac-Man Frogs. Man, I could not have done it without this guy right here. Uh, but right now, we are heading to the Kalamazoo Reptile Expo. It has been so long since I have been there. And I th the last time I was there, I was actually vending a show set up. So it's going to be a little bit different for me to just go there, walk around, and whatnot. So, Jess, what are you looking for at the show? Children pythons. Who doesn't like little baby snakes? <laughs> I'm looking into doing some new projects myself. I've gotten out of reptiles for the most part, and I just keep a couple of uh, large lizards now, and I miss working with snakes, so I'm gonna see if we can't find some little baby snakes to work with in the future. Well, that's sick. Uh, right now, I got the two male chihuahuas um, that I've been trying to get rid of for a while now with me. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything there that I like that I can trade. I would love to get a walma python, you remember that? Walmas yeah, would be cool. Are so Walmas would be cool. Yeah. Um, or a green tree python. That's one that uh, I've kept in the past. I don't know if you had seen any of the ones I used to keep or not. I don't believe so. Not the green trees. I remember the Amazon boas, but not the green trees. Yeah, the Amazons, those were cool too. I mean, seeing live birth, dude. That, that, yeah. that, that, was, that, was, that was nuts. I, I really, really, really liked that. Um, and then... Um, I would love to get a Maclon. I don't know if you know that one. It's kind of right. No, oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking of those. The man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's an Australian python. Uh, they used to be pretty relatively easy to find, um, but like everybody stopped working with them for some reason. But they are an awesome snake. I used to have one. Raven, who used to do the website, she used to have one too. Actually, I think she had a pair at one time. And we both just regret getting rid of it. Um, I'd love to get one of those in my hands. That, that'd be pretty sweet. Of course, I'm always looking for Pac-Man. Pac-Man frogs. Gotta love them. Gotta, Gotta love them. them. I'm gonna breed again. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Pac-Man, that's gonna be so much fun. So much it, it is, you know, as much as like Pac-Man Frogs is a ton of work to be able to reproduce them, keep the babies healthy and alive. I mean, it, it is not a one person job. It, it's definitely multiple people to do it. Um, but yes, I am definitely looking forward to that. Um, going for that four spotted strawberry is what I want. Because, I mean, with only four spots, all the rest is just going to be red. That's my theory on how it would come out. So would it be a red animal with, like, yellow spots? Well, it would have its normal color spots on the back. On its back. Oh, but, it would just be a pure red animal. Yes. Gotcha. Because the background tone to the strawberry Pac-Man frog is red. That's the thing that we all go for. So if I reduce that pattern... The rest is just going to be all red. I wonder what it does with eyes, or if eyes has any. That's a, that's a good question. I mean, hopefully we'll find that one out, figure out it, where it's going to go on that. Um, but yeah. Is there I, anything, can it, even anything be done with eyes? Can you breed for eyes? Actually, is, there yes. is there genetically things you can do with yes. eyes? Eye mutations, I should say. Remind me when we get back to my house. I actually have a Pac-Man frog that is a brown Pac-Man frog. One solid black eye, one normal eye. Definitely got to check that out. Well, you remember the translucent Pac-Man frog I yep, have? He had the same thing. I remember that now. He yeah. had like one pure black eye. One side was just like yep. black. Yep. Like demonic. And then I have, uh, I know a buddy of mine um, that is breeding Pac-Man frogs. He has a green Pac-Man with both solid black eyes. And then another guy I know that's working with Pac-Man Frogs, he has one that's one and one like mine. Um, so yeah, they are, everybody's kind of looking towards that to see what we can come up with. I mean, it's really an exciting time to be around Pac-Man right now. So many mutations coming out. Um, anybody that knows Pac-Man Frogs, 
you know, you just get ones that we just call mutants because we don't know what to classify them as because they're all different. They're, they're, it's crazy. Uh, so it's an exciting time. Is there different morphs with house? The Python and children. Children. Sorry. Nothing. I haven't done a whole lot of research into them. I, I've seen. I can't say that I've really necessarily looked into morphs. Mm-hmm. I've seen that there's different darknesses and whatnot, and a little change in like pattern within okay. within the one morph of the species or whatnot. But I have not done that much looking in genetics. I just I had like cute little baby snakes, and I just miss working with snakes. So that would be awesome. cute little baby snakes. It is. It's chill little pythons, or maybe even a hog nose in the future. Oh, I still got my two hogs. Uh, I, I've, i yeah. Hoggies are just derpy. And oh, they, they are. Hoggies should just be in every collection. They really should. Absolutely. Every hog nose I've ever owned and gotten rid of, I've horribly regretted in the long run. Because then all of a sudden I'll see somebody holding a nice big female. I'm like, Dude, if I would have kept that, then I'd have that right now. You know, because we're always changing and trading and buying new stuff, putting others up for sale, man. Hognose is one. And don't get me wrong, the two that I have, it's popped in my head. Do I really want to keep these? But I have that super anaconda baby, male. It's not a baby anymore. He's actually probably a little over a year now. But, I mean, the males, they just don't grow. They're right. so tiny. Um, and then I do have the female. She's getting bigger. She likes to hop and puff, so, I mean, it's like, all right, you can stay in there. You can stay in there. <laughs> They're all talk. They're all talk. Oh, absolutely. But I have seen a couple videos out there of somebody getting bit by hog nose and having their whole hand swell up. I've seen two different cases already. Just in the last probably six months to a year. So. From what I've heard, their venom or whatnot is kind of similar to like a, a toxin that wasps have. Yep. And if you're allergic to a wasp or whatnot, um, that can almost kind of play the same effects as getting bit by one of those, and that's why you can get in a little bit of danger. Oh, absolutely. And I'm actually wondering if it's really an allergy based thing. Because most hognose, they'll strike with their mouth closed, and to actually get the venom in them, they gotta chew. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, part of my thoughts are, like, if you just let that animal chew on you like that, you kind of deserve it. Oh, 100%. (laughs) 100%. But, no, hopefully in the next couple years I'll bring you some hog nose. I just got to make sure and keep them. Don't get rid of them. (laughs) Don't get rid of them. I do love those snow. The snow hog nose. Yep, I've seen those. Those Arctic Arctic snows are really cool. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be really cool to get into those, but uh, I'm just excited that uh, my zebra jag and zebra male locked up. Really? Yeah. All right. So we're going to get some jags, some zebras, some super zebras, and some super zebra jags. Super zebra jags. Say yep. that ten times over. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to try that one. Don't. <laughs> But uh, the only real difference between a Super Zebra and a Super Zebra Jag is the Super Zebra Jag is just lighter color. It doesn't bring any pattern or anything into it. Literally just lighter color. So, a little on the disappointing side that it wouldn't bring back something. But at the same time, keeping that a patternless animal like the Super Zebras are, right. that's just going to be happening. I want a super zebra female. So when I breed it to my zebra male, I get super zebra jags. No, just oh. super zebra. <laughs> no. uh, but alright guys, we will talk to you again when we get into that show. We'll show you around and see what you guys think of it. Um, hopefully we'll pick up some cool animals and we'll get back to the shop.
All right, guys. We just got back to my place. Um, I did end up getting a few animals I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, as you guys know, I am going more towards the pattern list when it comes to the Pac-Man frogs or the four-spot Pac-Man frogs. And I actually feel like I got super lucky on this one. Um, I saw one of my actual Facebook friend buddies uh, actually had these on his table. I was actually pretty geeked out about it. Um, but check this guy out. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but this thing is nearly patternless. It is absolutely epic. I'm super excited to get this guy in there. Um, he ended up getting one of my Chihuahuas, and he gave me this Pac-Man frog, and then I got this other one here, um, and he threw a little cheddar with it um, to make it a little bit better of a deal, but he's happy he got a Chihuahua for the first time. I'm excited that I got these two gorgeous frogs. This one's an emerald. It definitely has very little uh, pattern on it, but it definitely shows pattern. Instead of those spots being like uh, brown and those dark colors, his spots are mostly like a nice green. Here in a second, I'll give you a much better overview shot of them. Um, and then to top it off, one that everybody ends up loving to have they are an awesome animal. I had them way long ago um, and got rid of them, but here it is. A little Leechianus. What a cutie pie. Let's see if I can get a little bit better of a shot for you. Well, I'll give you a close up and a different shot. Check out that little dude. Everybody loves the Lichianus. They truly are just one of the cooler geckos. I am really excited to see this thing get really big because as you know, they get a pretty impressive size. Now that is a much better shot. Actually, from this angle, it looks like he has quite a bit of blue in him. Now this is the crown jewel to me. This thing is just stunning. It's the first time I've taken it out of the container and actually gotten a really good look at it. Whew. Now just picture that as a strawberry. So all of that yellow would be red. Ah, that is my goal with Pac-Man frogs. Hopefully someday we will see it. It'll be pretty awesome. 